Welcome to a video from thedigitalice.com. In this video we have another build of Windows 10 to look at. This is a redstone build of Windows 10 14291 which was released for the Windows Insiders and there's also a PC ver and there's also a mobile version of this available and you can see that video on our YouTube channel. So in this video we're going to have a quick look at the PC version and um, some of the new things in there, including extensions for Microsoft Edge. So this is extensions for the browser. So we'll be having a look at those. So let's start with those. And um, so here in Microsoft Edge, we've got extensions. And if I go over to here, the settings, you see we've got extensions. And if we do get extensions, this takes us to the Microsoft page about it. Now, so. This is the page that Microsoft uh, sends you to when you click on the extensions button here, settings. They will be available in the Windows Store. At the moment they're not available, it's just for testing for Windows Insiders. And there's just three available. There's uh, Translator, Reddit Enhancement Suite and Mouse Gestures. So to get the extensions you actually have to download them, run the .exe file and then point the browser at the folder. So if I go to load extensions and then I've already run the EXEs and created these folders and then you point at the folder and that and installs the extensions. Like I said, it will be available for the store so you won't have to do that. So this is the mouse one as an example. So this adds mouse gestures but extensions could be anything and developers can create Amazon ones or uh, ad blockers or all different kind of stuff, uh, Evernote, that kind of thing. But I'll use this as an example. So uh, this is not functionality built into Windows, but now it works in Edge, so I can right click and go back, and that goes back. If I did right click, and that would scroll up, right click, scroll down, you can see I'm using these, like that, these gestures. So this is now functionality that's built into, into Edge now, that we've added, but it's not in the main operating system, so if I uh, go back, I'll go back to a previous page, although I... So I probably should better to show you that on another web page, so I'll, I'll, I'll show you that in a sec. One of the other new things that I did is the ability, ability to pin uh, tabs and sites as sort of permanent uh, additions to the browser. So here I've pinned the digitallifestyle.com and BBC News, so if I go onto those, so there's no close icon because we've pinned them. You cannot unpin them, of course and close them if you want, but we don't need to. And then when the browser is closed and then uh, reopened again, let's close all tabs. So now when I reopen the browser, I've got my pin tab still there and I can then do other stuff with the, you know, use the other tabs and things. So it's a nice quick way of doing it. And on my desktop machine, I tend to have Gmail and maybe TweetDeck and, um, feed reader and things that I open every time when I use the browser. So this is a nice way to have them sort of pinned as web apps and just jump back to them whenever I need them. So that's quite good. So I did say the reason why I came to this was to show the gestures. So let me go on another page. So to show you an example of gestures now I've gone to a web page. I can right click and drag left and that does the back action. And then um, I can right click and forward to do the forward action and so on. I'm not really so much showing you the, the functionality but showing you that uh, how these extensions work and like I said we can have the translate icon, uh, the translate adding extension as well which I've got enabled there and there uh, could be others as well that we can add as Microsoft release them and as developers come up with them as well. So it's the beginning of uh, extensions which should be compatible with Chrome so we should start to see more uh, come through soon. So here's the translation one in action. This is um, a website that's in German and you see I've got the translate this page action there. And then that's translated it. So a nice little extension and I think these are going to be really useful. We'll see more of these in the future. Uh, when developers create them. So that's extensions. Other changes are around the map app and um, particularly they have now got tabs when you're doing a search. So I just did a search for Manchester there. It's created a tab and it's given me these routing options. Um, but I could have done, a, here's another search that I've done 
and I can go to that tab. So you can easily flick between the tabs. So if you're looking at comparison of routes or something like that, then you can use these tabs to easily switch between them, which I think is a, is a, a nice little feature. So with this now I can do type a search for say Manchester, it gives the results and I can minimise it. So it's a nice easier way of, uh, of navigating around the user interface. As they said they've improved the search results as well for better for local searches and the labels are better. Cortana can do your turn by turn navigation, in fact we can actually have uh, turn by turn navigation on here, I can show what that looks like. There we go, we've got a nice little turn-by-turn uh, -turn navigation, which is exactly the same as the phone version, but up on the big screen. Oh, what other changes are there? There is The Alarms app has been changed as the um, phone version was changed, so I think the user interface is a slight tweak to make picking things a little easier. The, the Feedback and the Insider Hub apps have been replaced by the new Feedback Hub. So what was for a separate app for doing feedback and separate app for doing insider knowledge or insider news, that's all combined into one tool now. Uh, for the PC, they fixed some issues with the SysTray. The wireless encryption protocol WEP now works. Um, on 8 just devices in portrait mode, this is an 8 inch in the landscape mode, they click the little cross when you're trying to find a page. Um, they've fixed some USB issues and some other issues. Oh, there was something else I wanted to show you in Edge as well. Um, and if we go back, so we pick a keyword uh, like that, and uh, I copy that to the clipboard. I can then go to the address bar and paste and go. So that's just going to do a quick paste that without having to paste it in and then click enter to search it. Same for. Uh, a link, if we have a link, I can grab that link, copy that, and I could go into the address bar and paste and go again, and that takes you straight to that link. So, quite a nice little way of uh, a feature that Chrome's had for a while, so I'm glad they've added that. Also, oh, what else was I saying? Yeah, they fixed. Um, so that was all the fixes. There are some known issues with this with the Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 4 crashing when you're using the trackpad. Um, you may have issues with the controller, uh, the PC freezing when you plug an Xbox controller in there. Um, so they've been seeing issues that an issue with Kaspersky antivirus, and all these are uh, I'll include a link on the digitallifestyle.com with the full set of details. So that's the main changes. A very quick look at them. Uh, Edge seems to be. Um, getting these new features and looking a lot better. They've got the new features in the map app as well, which is starting to look better too. So these are all Redstone features uh, going to public later this year. Uh, you can have a look at the mobile version on our YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter at, at isdixon on, on the digitallifestyle.com. Thanks for watching.